Hey everyone, and today I bring you some of the best Fallout 4 mods of the week on the Xbox One. I will give you a bit of a breakdown on each mod, and I also want to make a few comments about what I think is the last big secret left in Fallout 4. You will find a link to all these fine mods in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and share this and subscribe to my channel for more content. But I wanted to address a recent post I had made on Reddit regarding what I believe to be one of, if not the last remaining, big secrets left in Fallout 4. I'm going to try to keep this as short and as sweet as I can. A few weeks ago when I was testing out a few mods for one of these videos, I started messing around and sort of bumped into something I had never really seen before. So I looked up and down the internet on YouTube and Reddit anywhere else for info about it. And what I can say is what I found appears to be part of something that was only kind of talked about but never fully realized around the time that Todd Howard said there were still secrets within the game that had yet to be discovered. Now remember, we don't, I don't believe we're given a proper confirmation of what those secret or secrets were. Then I started looking around and I found more stuff that had never really been investigated, so I asked Reddit about this other stuff I had found to see if it relates to what I was originally looking for. And I don't think it does, but it was worth a shot. And since I found this secret, I want to get to the bottom of it. I think that's fair, and it's very complex, so this may take a little bit of time. So I can't just let the cat out of the bag before all that. But I will give you fine folks three important clues related to what I have found. Number one, any and all military and military related sites in game, which can be a lot considering in the Fallout universe the military's tentacles are kinda all over pretty much all of the notable companies you will see in the game. Number two, the terminals located there, they are key to all of this. They have the information, it's cryptic, but it is there. And number three, and easily the most shocking out of the three, is the fact that we see fingerprints of one of the most revered factions in the entire Fallout world in Fallout 4, but we never see any actual direct proof that they even exist anymore. Until now. My last clue, and the centerpiece to this secret is, directly related to none other than our oldest enemies, the Enclave. Alright, our first mod up is the Dead Sun Weather by the Lunchbox Gaming. Uh, basically, it's going to change the sky to a much creepier atmosphere with that orange color. It's pretty cool. I like this mod. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of a stroll around. You can see what it looks like. It's beautiful. Right in time for Halloween, this is... Uh, definitely adds a, a different vibe to this game and makes it a whole lot different whole lot different especially if you're on survival mode it's kind of it's already kind of scary because you might get killed pretty quickly but you add this into it and you're gonna be you're gonna be scared out of your mind Next up is the Repcom Hazardous Environmental Suit by the Vitrus BZW Mike Hart and Svetherjern. Author is Madi Mod Mod 620. You can find this um, in the chem station. Alright, here you can see it in the chem station. I'm going to cycle through it real quick. It takes almost nothing to make it. All right, now let's take a better view of it. Pretty cool looking. It looks like it has a jetpack or something on the back of it. It doesn't work, but it's pretty awesome looking. It looks like something out of uh, the Prometheus, the suits that they wear in that movie. Pretty, pretty awesome. I like it. Next up is the Ciburo CX Exploder from the... Um, it's from an anime. It's from Ghost in the Shell, I believe. Um, this is pretty cool. Very well fleshed out mod. It's in the Kim station, by the way, to create it. And here we are in the Kim station again. We're going to make it. There's a holster that comes with it, too, that you can make. Um, it messed with the suit I'm wearing, so I didn't put it on, but there is a holster for it.
All right, now these are all the upgrades that you can get for the gun. Um, you, you know, you can make it super OP. Um, I, I did have a problem with the one of the scopes on it. Uh, it wasn't loading in the textures or something because they were coming in purple or pink or whatever, so it wasn't loading in properly. I used the other scope and it worked fine, but the TER sight is the one that is messed up for me at least. Um, but but uh, th these are all the upgrades you can get for it. And here you can see it in action. Good sound effects to it, it looks good. Fires pretty accurately. Super strong, even without the OP little uh, upgrades you can put on. See how it's me like, I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but it looks messed up to me, the sight, so... I would avoid using it, you can't really see. But nonetheless, the other sights are fine, and works great. Alright, the last mod up is the Fallout 3 New Vegas Feral Ghouls Replacer by the Fried Turkey again. It's going to replace all the Feral Ghouls to make them look like basically the, uh, the Fallout 3 and New Vegas look that they had in the previous games. It's a nostalgic kind of mod. Alright, as you can see here, it restores them back to their former glory of looking like Clint Eastwood and Larry King's love child. And, uh, yeah, they're, it, it, for me, this is, this is kind of something I've been looking for for a while now. I didn't know this mod existed, but it, it does bring back memories of uh, Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Alright, that'll wrap it up. Be on the lookout for more Fallout videos by me. If you enjoyed this, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Have any thoughts, let me know down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video.